the architecture of Oracle. What do we mean by the architecture of Oracle? By architecture, we mean the way that Oracle is built, the pieces by which it is constructed in terms of its physical architecture, the physical pieces on your machine that it consists of, both in a shutdown and a running state. What are these pieces? This leads us to what is an Oracle database. An Oracle database is made up of a number of pieces. These things are namely buffers, processes, files, and network communication. Let's go back a bit. What do we mean by buffers? In computer jargon, buffers is basically the use of memory or random access and virtual memory on a database server. A buffer is a sectioned off piece of memory which is used for a particular purpose. Processes are the things that run on your Oracle database server which keep your database running. For instance, the database writer process, the process which takes the information that is changed in a buffer, a database change buffer, and writes it to the disk. There are many other processes. The files. The files are the data files which make up the database where the actual data is stored on the disk. The network communications are Oracle Net Service, Oracle networking software. The memory layer. The memory layer is the buffers. The memory layer is commonly called the SGA or shared global area. Within the shared global area there are database buffers, redo log buffers, a sort buffer, and the shared pool. The database buffer contains the in-memory portion of the database files, or the actual data. The redo log buffer contains a record of changes to the database buffers and the database files. After a period of time, or other various parameters such as the amount of information changed, the redo log buffer will be written to a redo log file on the disk. Additionally, redo log files can be written to archive logs, which is a history of redo log files. The sort buffer is an area of memory reserved for sorting in memory. The shared pool is made up of pre-passed SQL and PLSQL code. By pre-passed, we mean that the code has had its optimization plan stored in memory. The shared pool also includes latches and locks. Latches and locks are the way by which the multi-user capability of the Oracle database is controlled. The shared pool will also contain the metadata, which is the data dictionary or the data about the data. The process layer. The process layer more or less sits on top of the memory layer. The process layer are the processes which communicate, for instance, between the buffers and the database files. The database writer communicates between the database buffers and the data files. The log writer communicates between the redo log buffer and the redo log files. The archiver writes from redo log files to archive files. There are many other processes such as PMON and SMON. The processes SQL and PLSQL, we don't need to go any further. The Oracle instance. The Oracle instance is a term used to describe the part of an Oracle database which exists in memory when an Oracle database is running, namely the memory layer, the shared global area, and the process layer. In other words, the Oracle instance is made up of all the memory buffers plus the processes. This is what causes the Oracle database to actually run. So what is the Oracle database? The Oracle database is the Oracle instance, the processes, and all the memory buffers running plus the data files. The processes are used to communicate between the memory layers and the database files. Looking at the database files, we see we have data files. The data files store the actual data. The redo logs retain a record of changes to the data files. The archive logs are historical records or copies of the redo logs since the redo logs will recycle. The control files contain pointers where these pointers provide a connection between the redo and archive logs and the data files. 
and the various memory structures. Configuration files are files such as the parameter file which you can use to change the behavior of the Oracle database. So the Oracle instance consisting of the process and memory layers is connected to all the database files making up the Oracle database. Communicating with the network the entire Oracle database is connected to its client machines or web servers using proprietary Oracle networking software called Oracle Net Services. In previous versions of Oracle, the Oracle networking software has been called names such as SQL Net and Net8, amongst others. The Oracle networking software provides a layer specific to Oracle databases providing efficient communication between, as I already said, client machines or web servers and the Oracle database itself. Control files, logging, archiving and recoverability. Let's start with logging. Logging records every transaction in redo log files. What this means is that every change made to the database is stored in a log file. It's called a redo log file because you can redo those changes. If you were to lose a part of your Oracle database and you had to recover from a backup that was say two weeks old, you could use the redo log files in combination with the archives to reconstruct the changes to whatever you lost. Once again, archiving stores old redo logs. What happens is that you have a limited number of redo logs written to from the redo log buffer. When those redo logs are recycled, just before recycling a particular redo log or at specified points in time called checkpoints, redo log files are written out to archive log files. The combination of the archive logs and the redo log files gives you complete recoverability of your Oracle database up to a point of failure. Thus, recoverability in Oracle is provided with a combination of logs or redo logs and the archive log files. The control file, or control files since you can have multiples, contain pointers which are used to coordinate between different files. For instance, if I lost a data file and I recovered an old data file, as we already said two weeks back, the control file would look at the data file and the archive logs and get from the data file what's called a system change number and it would execute changes from logs and archives up to the system change number that exists in the control file. This is how the control file would be used to coordinate the recovering of a lost file using an older copy of the lost file plus the logs and the archives. Obviously if you do not archive your database, which means that you do not have to store the archive files as copies of the redo logs, your database is essentially not recoverable. The control file is very important because it maintains all the pointers between all the log files and all the data files. It coordinates between all the different files in the database. It is probably the singularly most important file in the Oracle database. 